Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NB Edits. Guys, we are super excited to be out here today. Nick and I are up here in the north woods of Wisconsin and we just found a lake that is completely locked. It is snow covered. So we don't know exactly know what we're getting into out here, but guys, we're up here, we are grinding. We have been covering a lot of ground the last couple days, trying to find safe ice. We have found multiple lakes that we've been able to walk out onto. Unfortunately, some of our honey holes are still a little bit sketch. So we're actually experimenting, trying some new things. We're packing very light actually today. Take a look down here, we've got live scope unit, just a couple of rods from Frostbite with us. We've got some plastics, some lures and stuff like that. We're gonna be trying out some new stuff. Guys, we are super, super excited to be out here. Again, brand new lake, new area for us. Don't know exactly what to expect, but we're gonna get out there and let's try to go catch some fish. First couple steps, it's always a little nerve wracking, especially snow covered. All right, well, you can see we made it out here. Gonna chisel a quick hole. Before we go any further, just kind of show you guys what we're dealing with. It seems pretty solid underneath the snow. It's all black clear ice, which is the best. Get a chunk. Hard to chisel a perfect amount, but you guys hopefully can see from the top to the bottom. I don't know. That's like two and a half solid inches black clear ice. Again, though, we've never been here. It's snow covered, and we're gonna have to chisel every spot uh, really good. Um, we do have quite a bit of gear with us as well, which I really don't feel like dropping in, but. Yeah, I don't know, it says it gets to 15 feet deep in this lake. Um, right here, one of the holes that I spotted, I dropped the chisel down and it went all the way to the top. So I already know we're in like five feet of water. So we we'll probably won't go too much further out. We're gonna chisel a hole, put one of the live scopes down and uh, scan around and see if we can see some depth change. Maybe some fish, I have no idea what to expect, but we're both out here, we're walking on water. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's already a win because I'm gonna be honest, there's not a whole lot that is locked up here. And if there is stuff that's locked, it's not safe. So finding good ice is a little difficult right now. So let's go ahead and walk a little bit further and see what we can find. All right, throw the live scope down here. First hole, let's see what we're working with here. Oh, there's a mark suspended, one fish, 25 feet away, straight in front of us, but still no schools and it doesn't seem to be getting a lot deeper yet that actually could be fish about 20 feet to the side of us hard to say if that's weeds or fish on bottom but it kind of looks like it's moving yeah that might be fish so we might go ahead i'd like to chisel out a little bit further here and just continue to get deeper but if we're already seeing what could be pods of fish in only six or seven feet of water that's even better, yeah, that's for sure fish. I can see them swimming out now. Now they're at about 25, 30 feet away. That's awesome. We've got fish in the area. There are fish in this lake. We had no idea what to expect. Not a whole lot of reviews on some of these smaller bodies of water once you start getting up into northern Wisconsin. So some stuff is marked, some stuff is not, but we're gonna start marking some stuff for ourselves. It's always really good when it cracks on you. Oh God, fish coming. Fish on, what? Look at that, nice crappie. Okay, first drop. 
after chiseling that hole. And uh, there's crappie in this lake. Never been here. Not a super giant. I mean, that's probably like a 10 inch crappie, which is pretty good. I found a tree out here and it looks like it is loaded. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna unhook this right away. That guy came over right away and just smoked this frostbite plastic here. And uh, yeah, that's pretty exciting. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm actually just gonna put this one in the sled for now. Brandon's gonna grab some water in a bucket. I don't wanna spook this school cause they're not far away. Go ahead, drop it back down. See if we can get another one. Uh, we got another one coming already. On. Oh, baby. Let's go. Another one, but cookie cutter the last. Not bad. There's still more down there, so I'm going to go ahead and put him in there as well. Drop it back down. Fishing 10 feet of water and there was just randomly, so far on this lake there's just been random trees that are sticking out and we got another one coming. These fish look like they haven't ate all year. They're coming straight in and just hammering. That is freaking awesome, a little smaller. But again, I'm just gonna put in the slide here so I don't spook the school. Shallow water like this wouldn't take much. Oh, there's two more already right under. Come on, those look like bigger marks too. Oh, I missed it. There's three of them. Come on, you know you want this. Well, after missing uh, that one mark in that couple, there's like three bigger ones. And now, just like that, they're gone. It's amazing how fast. Um, that's why I kept the fish in the sled because those schools, if you're not like right on top of them, especially in shallow water like this, they are constantly moving in and out of stuff. Like, yeah, there's some trees here, but what we've noticed is there's trees all around the shoreline. So they could stop at this one, see what's going on, and then they're on to the next. So if you don't sit there and just entertain them and drop after drop, they're they're gone. Just like. Just like that. All right, got the fish in water. Here's one of the smaller ones. Get a release on him. And then we got two of the bigger ones. Not super big, but for never, never being out on this lake before, decent little eaters. These would be perfect, but uh, I don't feel like keeping any fish today. It's a miracle that we're even ice fishing, so I'm go ahead. Release these guys. Oh, tell you what, even if there's not much ice on the lake, that water is still incredibly cold. My hands now are completely soaked. But guys, this is a success. I mean, we were able to find a random lake that's frozen, which normally this early, if you find bodies of water, I know I said in the last video, it's really hard to actually find fish in a lake that freezes pretty quick. Yeah, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna check that tree, maybe they're back, and if not, check a few others and see what else we can catch today. So, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but 11 feet of water, you can see 20 feet away, there's another tree, looks like there's a few fish right here on it. I'm gonna try to go over there and chisel and hopefully not scare them, because that's pretty much exactly what it looked like when I caught those last couple. So I'm gonna go spud, spud 20 feet back and uh, I don't know, hopefully maybe not scare them and catch a few out of that school. Pretty much right on top of it. See if we can get one. Hopefully they didn't all spook. Oh. 
Oh, that's a big mark. Okay, they're coming in. Okay, there's three. Come on. There we go. No, ah, oh, jeez. That was the biggest one of the day too, I swear. Okay, there's still more. No, don't swim away. Hey now, come on now. What I'm gonna do is just try to get down there because you had fish there. And then you take this and we'll both at least be in position to maybe catch some fish. It does look like there's one down there. Oh yeah, there is. You see that? Right on you, yeah. Yeah. Hey, drop it all the way down, get down. Here he comes. Oh, there's another one shooting off bottom. Got him. Oh, man. Let's go. Oh, he's wrapped in the deucer. Came out on top of the ice. We'll take it. I'm going to go back down. The other one was bigger. Whew. I must have spooked him from over here back to this tree. Yeah, I think so. Oh, God, I do not love this hole at all. No, it's not. That's why I'm going to keep my distance. <laughs> Dropping down. Oh no, he's running. Let's see if we can get him back. That other mark was definitely nicer. There were three total. God, this is sketchy ice. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and send this fish back. Get down there, buddy. See you later. He's right on me. Come on, just do it. There we go. Another decent crappie. Choking that. Frostbite, dinner bell, and sanity pepper. Really good in this stained water that we're fishing in right now. Come on, help me out. I know, not the best hole. Go down. Jeez, he had a tough time. Oh, oh my God, here we go. Oh, look at that one charging you. Oh, I'm so bad at ice fishing. <laughs> you'll, him. you'll hit again. Oh, there's another one. Ah, I am so bad. <laughs> it's so crazy, dude. When they come from this tree, they just come screaming out of it. It's insane. Alrighty, guys. Well, we have found fish, and uh, ice conditions are still sketch. I'm just going to leave it at that. Short and sweet. It's not great. We found ice. Just be careful out there, guys. Uh, we are going to try a new area here. We did scan out about 80 to 100 feet and we found some more tree stumps. So before we go over there though, just wanna give you a quick rundown on some of the stuff that we're using out here today. Rods wise, we are using frostbite rods. I have the Vanta Black Feather Duster and then we also have the Twilight series with us. This is the Royal Flush. So frostbite makes two different series of rods. You've got the Twilight series and the Vanta Black series. Uh, main difference between the two series of rods is gonna be the Twilight Twilight series is going to have the real seats on it, whereas the Vanta Blacks, they do cost a little bit more, but uh, they do not have real seats, which is why you see we have that grip on there. Um, these are also going to have very nice eyelets on them. These are the spring-loaded recoil guides, which is very nice to get some of that ice and stuff like that off of there. So you've got a little bit more entry-level rod and you've got a little bit higher class rod from Frostbite. Um, they make pretty much every single rod in the lineup in both Twilight Series and Vanta Black. So again, this is what we're running out here. Feather Duster is my favorite pan fishing rod. This is gonna be a little bit heavier duty, the Royal Flush, kind of that in-between series between bigger pan fish into walleye you know uh, but we're working with what we've got out here and yeah just wanted to kind of give you guys a quick rundown before we head over here I don't know we probably got about half hour left of sunlight so we're not gonna get too crazy but just wanted to give you a quick rundown oh and I should actually mention to you guys uh, I actually work for frostbite now I don't think a lot of you actually know that but in October I took a new job you guys are probably going to be seeing me a lot more uh, maybe on the frostbite social media whether it's the YouTube channel or their Instagram stuff like that it's been an awesome job you guys are gonna see me at the shows a lot more and I'm super excited for it we've already done multiple shows and it's been great so far so I'll keep it short if you guys have more questions on rods baits anything like that Feel free to DM us on Instagram, nb.edits. I can answer all of your questions throughout the entire lineup. So let's go catch some more fish. 
chiseled right on top of this tree. I was just a little bit off. See if that helps. One's coming over. Got him. There we go. We did it. This will probably be one of the last crappies of the night. It's getting pretty dark here pretty quick. Not huge, but ah, it's been a really fun day actually. I just wish the ice was just a little bit, maybe like a half inch, give us like two and a half everywhere. It is starting to get a little more firm now that it's getting a little later in the day, which is ideal, but it's been fun. We found a new lake, found some crappie, which was the targeted species. Definitely will be back for sure, but can't complain with how the day went. Getting to be about that time, sun's starting to go down. Start snowing again, which is freaking awesome. It's supposed to only snow for about an hour today, and it snowed pretty much 95% of our time out here. But, oh well, at least on the bright side, it did not stop us from finding this lake. Getting out here, still cracking, still getting me a little nervous, but we made it the whole entire day without falling in, so that's a success, and even better, we found some crappies, and they weren't bad. I think this lake has some serious potential. Once we could actually get out here and try, you know, some more spots, we pretty much just picked one spot and that was it, so. We could have stumbled upon the best, or we could have just stumbled upon something that just held a couple fish and there's still more to be had, but uh, I guess that's for another time when the ice gets a little thicker, but overall, pretty decent day. Yeah, like Nick said, great day out here, actually. I mean, we didn't absolutely hammer any fish by any means, but uh, no, given the conditions, we're on about two, maybe two and a half inches of ice, so it's still very early. I know a lot of you are probably wondering where in the heck are these guys? How are they doing it? Uh, we don't really give out locations, so you don't have to ask what county we're in, what lake we're on, uh, but we're way up north in northern Wisconsin. Um, it's snowing. We're going to get off. We had a great day out here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to slap that thumbs up button for us, guys. We really appreciate it. Share it with your friends and family. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you go. We hope to see you guys at the shows. We've got the St. Paul Ice Show coming up this weekend. That's going to be a lot of fun. Nick and I are going to be at the Frostbite booth. We may also be at the Eskimo booth as well. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We hope to see you guys there, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Tight lines from NB Edit. Oh,